The Minister of uh, Finance or the National Treasury has announced three billion as a refurbishment fund uh, for those old hotels to be given soft loans so that they can be able to refurbish their products. Yes, it's just been announced, so it has a whole process of parliament. The minute the parliamentary process is over, we, ha we are also in the process of creating the, the, the legal framework and also the guidelines how this money will be, will be dished out. But definitely, uh, three billion shilling is a drop in the ocean, but that is what the budget is available for now. But it can be at the beginning that every financial year the government can put money in this fund. But more important thing, we want it to be transparently disbursed in terms of who gets it. Because this is specifically for those people uh, who have old properties and we need refurbishment. And I believe this part of the region, this part of the country, needs it most because this is where uh, most of the hotels are old and tired and they need help. Uh, the strategies we have put in place are very important and we have liaised with uh, global partners internationally to make sure that we are seamless. We, are developed, we have developed the protocols, the protocols are ready the minute the country is opened. Uh, we will roll out those protocols, but those protocols are not only unique for Kenya, they are global protocols which have been endorsed. And we are working with World Tourism and Travel Council to get the stamp or the certification that our protocols are compliant internationally. Uh, but we are waiting again after 30 days since the announcement was done. The minute is lifted, then we will roll out those. those. But definitely a lot of jobs have been lost in Kenya. And the economy has lost. We used to generate 1.6 billion uh, US dollars. That is almost 170 billion shillings uh, revenue to the government. Uh, it is 10% of the GDP. Uh, so you could imagine the effect of it. Uh, today I'm here in Watamo, you could feel the impact, lack of tourism, the effect, the activities, the, the restaurants, the, the hotels are as good as they are dead because they are, not, they are closed. But I'm optimistic that uh, currently uh, in the next uh, one year we can work hard on the domestic market and I believe that can be attractive. But again, uh, the stakeholders of the tourism industry must appreciate a domestic market has a different taste and they are sensitive in pricing. So the pricing must be right for the domestic market. International market will come end of the year, I mean end of the year 2021, uh, and that market also is not to replace the domestic market but to work concurrently uh, so that we can benefit. But it's a lesson to open up to domestic market.